Hello YouTube, D. Badger here. So, um, this is, I guess, video three of my everything you could possibly want to know about an M10, M10 3 uh, teardown. Uh, so anyway, this one is going to be about the battery pack, which, here's the cover on it, took it apart. Um, the things I want to point out is, first of all, the date code. So it's 2020 10 um, So this thing was made in October 20th of 2020. Uh, pretty damn new. I mean, it literally came from China to my front door, almost. Uh, you know, with, with a friend in um, Virginia that bought it for me. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, it, it, it is brand spanking new in every possible way. So it says on here 512 watt hours and then NCR 18650GA. Um, so that is a Sanyo cell uh, and they are 3500 milliamp hours. Um, so when I take 84 volts and I divide it, or take 512 watts rather than divide it by 84 volts, I get about 6 amp hours, a little bit more than that. Um, which is actually, I was surprised because I really expected, because this is so common with China, where they exaggerate on the wattage and ratings and lumens and all kinds of stuff. So I really expected that to happen. But the truth of the matter is, in the case of the batteries, they weren't. They were actually slightly conservative. Because, you know, a 3,500 milliamp hour cell, you're never going to actually get 3,500 milliamp hours out of it in real live use. Um, you're going to see probably more like, say, 3,000. Or maybe, if you're lucky, 3,100 out of it. So um, the fact that you know, doing the math um, on this 512 watt hours at 84 volts, and that I got six amp hours, and I'll show you the pack in a minute. Um, the the math actually worked out to real world values for what you're likely to get out of the battery pack. So it's like, wow, <laughs> China not exaggerating. When does that happen? All right, so let's move on. <clears throat> well, I'll grab this thing off the floor. Okay, so. Um, the battery comes in this plastic box, which isn't structural. Uh, it's basically a steaming turd of very, very low-grade, very thin-walled ABS plastic uh, with some padding on the side of it. Um, but honestly, uh, pretty useless. <laughs> pretty darn useless. There's better ways to build a battery pack than put it inside a bloody plastic box that's not fire retardant in any way. I, I mean... This stuff here, this is foam padding. Um, that stuff burns like crazy. It does not hold back flames in any way. So if the battery pack caught fire, it would just burn through everything and it'd go up in smoke and cause giant problems. So anyway, there's the box on the floor. And here is the actual battery pack. Um, this is probably the best view of the cells. And um, they do have, uh, or, or, yeah, so right on that one, it probably won't show up on the camera, but there is actually um, a QR code on there. And looking at real Samsung 18, 650, whatever these are, forgot the number, um, GAs, uh, they have that same QR code. So I think that it's a safe bet that these are probably real live Samsung or Sanyo cells. Um, when you when you think about things that China can cut corners on, well, one of the things that they can't do is cut corners on the batteries. They've got to use legitimate cells, and the reason why is because the Chinese cells are shit. They have very very poor um, capacity versus you know name brand cells. Um, their their uh, discharge rates are much lower, and everything about this these things is all about battery capacity in the smallest form factor as possible with the most amp draw you can possibly get. And you're just not going to get that out of Chinese cells. So they had to use real legit Sanyo cells, which is what I see in here. So anyway, that's that part. So yippee for you, China. You know, you didn't cut that corner because you can't, because uh, everyone would notice because, you know, their electric unicycle had shit for range and it would just sag like crazy. All right, so let's talk about the BMS. Um, so it says on here, uh, www.kebye.com, K-E-B-Y-E.com, um, and it has a part number on here of LHY20SP version 1B, so LHY20SP, because it's a 20S pack. Um, so here's the interesting thing. Uh, you, you can see that there's like components missing over here. Uh, these solder connections are the balance connections to the cells. So right here is two cells in parallel, there's another two cells in parallel, so on and so on. So you basically have the string of 20 cells across by two in parallel or 20 S2P. And half the BMS is here, so you have all the balance electronics for 10 of the cells on this side. And then you have, you know, continuation wires 
over to the other side and then here you have the rest of the balancing so this is a dumb BMS there's no brain pan in here at all uh, right there that little guy um, that is a lithium charge control chip uh, you know very specialized uh, single-use uh, component uh, very very common exceedingly cheap you can find them on every cheap BMS on the planet so anyway let me flip this bad boy around so we're looking at right side up okay so anyway um, so that's basically the balance circuitry and this little bit over here uh, in these MOSFETs they have nothing to do with protection from overloads or anything like that uh, or your pack gets too discharged so let's cut off current the only thing they do is this little black wire right here that's your charge wire uh, these MOSFETs and the support electronics um, they are looking at this shunt right here which uh, I'll get to that in a second uh, and they're looking at cell voltages, things like that. And so if charging overcharges the battery pack, uh, which I have to tell you, 84 volts is already overcharging the battery pack, uh, you should be charging to 4.1 volts per cell, which is 82 volts, not 84 volts. That's 4.2 volts per cell, which is fine for LiPo, but for lithium ion, no, it's not. Um, anyway, so that's another thing which I could rant on a while about. Anyway, so these uh, MOSFETs here are only cutting off the charge signal uh, if the pack gets overcharged or a cell goes over voltage too far, you know, like say 4.25 volts or something, um, which is already stupid high for lithium ion. <clears throat> However, this right here, uh, that black wire, that you know, thick black wire, which is 14 aug, and that spot, that solder connection right there, you can see it right there that is the bat minus connection and that black wire which goes right over here to 6060 and then off to the controller that is your negative connection so these MOSFETs in no way shape or form disconnect power from the battery pack when it gets overly discharged um, it just and on the other side same way so here's your bat plus connection and as you can see there's the 14 aug wire going right over to the the XT60 connector um, if this battery pack gets overly run down, there is nothing here on this BMS that will stop that from happening. And BMSs are supposed to protect your battery pack from getting overly discharged. And they're also supposed to protect it from getting discharged too rapidly. Too much current is supposed to shut them off. And there's no MOSFETs between bat, bat minus or bat plus and anything. It's just direct wired up. So there is no protection in here in any way, shape, or form from overload, um, over discharging, anything like that. All these boards do is balance the cells and make sure that you don't overcharge, which is stupid. <laughs> Come on, guys. How hard is it to make a BMS that actually shuts off? Oh, that's right. It's not hard. Um, in fact, it's super easy. So all I can say is, Come on, China. Get it together. How hard is that to do right? But uh, there it is. That's the 20S pack, and it's um, it's not very big. It's Like I said, it's 20S2P. Um, uh, so uh, the other thing about these Sanyo cells is they have a 10 amp discharge rate and so that means you know that's their maximum discharge rate and there's two in parallel so that's 20 amps and we all know that this thing is pulling more than 20 amps so uh, somebody's got some high expectations uh, basically this pack's not going to live long uh, which is not all that surprising considering that you're going to be pulling some serious amps out of it anyway battery pack is not so great and Truthfully, the space and lose that stupid plastic box around it uh, is big enough where I think I can add another set of cells in here so I can make this 20S 3P, which is going to add about 50% more capacity. Anyway, um, another shitty aspect of these things. Just, just, China, what were you thinking? No protection at all on your BMS? Why did you even bother putting a BMS in there? Oh, that's right. We want to keep the cells balanced, but we don't care what happens to them when you try to use them. Yeah. Dumb. Just dumb. Somebody's going to have a fire. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. They're going to be riding their wheel, and the battery pack is going to be fiery hot. And that's another thing. There's no temp, temp sensor in here at all. Uh, th all these are is balancing. That's it. And overcharge protection. There is no temp sensors in there. So your cells could go thermonuclear, and you'd be riding along thinking everything was fine, and then just like you saw on hoverboards, you know they would randomly catch on fire. You're going to have wheels doing that. You totally will, because there's no protection at all. Any form. None. Zero. And I'll get to that in a little bit more when I get to the controller board. So that's the end of this video.